Uh, okay. My mother-in-law, she found this Canon camera in a second-hand shop for around two dollars. And she saw me playing with cameras and her idea was like, hey, camera, two dollars. I think Jan will like that. Yeah, I like it. But not for using it, because it's a camera that still use film and some old generation battery. So, one, I don't want to search for film. Two, I don't want to search for this type of battery. Plus, if I use this camera, after that I have to find a place where I can develop the film. And no, I don't like that. Um, but what I like about this camera is it has a built-in zoom system. So what I want to do is extract all the lenses from this system and maybe I can find the system that is driving this flaws. Uh, this camera uses some special system that you can use uh, a normal flash or you can put this uh, diffuser over the flash to make a more diffused light. So if you use the wide angle function of this lens, you yeah, still have, uh, yeah, how to say, all the subjects in the picture are well lit. Okay, um, let's get a screwdriver and see how to open this. Because I think this flap over here is a part I can remove. But I see here the screws are really oxidized. I'm afraid. That will be a horror story to open this. So let's see if I can find. Uh, it works. Uh oh. Yeah, there's a horror story in this one. Okay, I can remove this one. Really oxidated. One. Two. I won't label the screws because after this. I tear down, I will never ever ever put this camera back together. Okay. That screw is totally oxidated. Let's see, what do we have? We have a screw here. A nice screw. when there's a film in the camera. Okay, any screw let's use over here. You can see I'm opening this camera without any pen.
here. Bye bye. I don't play guitar, but I love to use those things to find any way to get in the devices. Let's remove this one. I have no idea what you are holding. No system at all. Just search and turn. Where was this one? Oh, yeah, something in there. All those smart little thingies. This one. Timer. Look at this. It has a timer and a small infrared receiver. So I think you can put this camera on a tripod. And the whole family is smiling. Father just click on his remote control and click clack. We have a picture of the family. Oh look, the zoom is uh, functioning. So I think something is disconnected inside. Okay, you. Bye bye, screw. First part is gone. Okay, the plastic is a little bit old, but it's really easy to break off the plastic. So that says something about the camera. It's old. Man, how many years do we have now digital cameras? Like, I bought my first digital camera in 2000, or 2002. Oh my god, it's already like years ago. Look at this. This is the viewfinder and if you move this you can adjust the viewfinder. Let's do this closer. Look at this. Wow. Yay, don't see those things anymore because everything is I said OLED OLED viewfinders. Like this camera over here. This one uses an OLED viewfinder. Okay, how to get them? Any more hidden screws? Always use a flashlight. I love flashlights. So, what do you have for me? So, we have the, the chamber that holds the film. And voila, over there is a hidden screw. Don't resist. Imagine the person who designed this camera nightmares. Or oh, is it made in Japan? People in Japan are really ah, made in Japan. Yeah, people in Japan they have that we had few out of build things to get it together. If you look at those new products from like China, it's just a shelf with a PCB inside 
and just built for like that some grannies from the countryside uh, can stick it together but this device if you need staff to put this together that would be more Quite a few. Okay. Let's go for the water method. Yeah. With a hammer, everything fits. But with a screwdriver, you also get a lot of shit on. But just the screwdriver. So there was a shutter. So what are you and why are you shield? And oh my god, they already had in whatever in the 90s flexible PCBs. But wow, this switch is beautiful. I think I will keep it. Focus halfway and shoot. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, and let's continue. And under this piece of plastic, what do we have? More screws. Screw L. Oh my god, look at this chamber for the lens. I thought it would be small, but look at this. This is a bad ass room. I hope I get some beautiful glass from this. Look at this. Oh, this is some. If you find it from the top, I don't know. Right. It has a question mark. I can open it. Oh my god, this is pretty small. So I could make it just like from this hole. Or I could do, look through this hole. Oh my god. I think this back then, this was a beautiful camera. But what I did not like about the specs is... Let me see if it's on here. Yeah. You see. If you can read it, focus you bits. Uh, I think like this. It's a light. 3.2 till 8. It's like hardly any light can fall on the film when it's when you've zoomed in. Okay, what am I for? One is the the circuit that's driving the flash, and I think it's this one because I see stuff that can make a high frequency or high voltage but that high voltage you have to store it in a cap and where is that cap? Is it a small thing under it? Oh. Let's see if I can get there. Let me see. Okay, you are a screw. To the scroll. Still holding it. Yes. Hey, if you want to spend money, buy this screwdriver set. I make an unpack video about this. And my God, quality. The only disadvantage about this screwdriver set is that. It has a little bit of rust but like my friend always told me you can see when tools are no, not like that good quality tools rust because if you want to make steel really hard you cannot make it like uh, you cannot make it inox so good tools rust okay 
Let's see. So I remove this one. Can I remove this part of it? Is everyone everything fixed on this piece of plastic? Let me see. Do I have any more screws? Hmm. How are you connected to show you a part? Can I not just remove it? Yeah. Ah, email. What do you have to tell me? Boop, 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 spam. Okay. Um, this plastic is so old, it just breaks. Don't be afraid that I will get a shock from this flash because I don't think there was a battery in this camera for the last 20 years. But here is the piece I want. Let's see. And I think this Elko is made before 2000. Maybe you know the story that around the, the new century um, if okay to tell the story clearly like long time ago caps were only made in Japan and they were high quality but then the story is that someone stole the secret how to make uh, condensators uh, caps caps I don't know how you call those things and that person went to China and in China they start to copy those things and but the recipe was not right so what happened is that around 2000 a lot of products were sold with faulty compensators or capacitors in it and those things were all failing. Computer routers, TVs, power supplies, uh, mainboard and computers, they all were like, failing because of faulty capacitors. And I made some money about that in that period because uh, things just die. People threw it away because that's how people are. Hey, it doesn't work. Let's buy. Let's go to the media market and buy a new product. But you open it and you just solder the broken capacitor out because you can recognize a broken capacitor. And it's like, you see, this shape is a little bit, uh, yeah, misformed. But you can see this one. This one's totally flat. It uh, has some glue on it, but it still looks beautiful. So I th think I will put this one in the capacitor meter later on and then we can check it's still okay. But yeah, it's pretty small because uh, 10 years ago I also did a teardown of a uh, speed light flash from Canon and that one, that capacitor looks like a beer can. I was like massive, like, 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 if you touch that one it's fully loaded I think it will kill me. But let's see. What's this? This is plastic. Do I like plastic? No. But why are there... How many? Why are there four wires going to the flats? Because I think it's not only the flats but also a LED or something. I don't care. What I want is the LEDs. So, how are you connected? I see three screws around. So, what are you doing? Okay. Screw number one. Now 
you are thinking, what, what does he need those lenses for? Now I will tell you. You can order from China power lens. So for like half a dollar or one dollar, you can buy a 10 watt power lens. And what I want is to focus that light. So you can make your own flashlight, or you can put it on your bike, motorbike, or you can make your own video projector. So maybe that's a challenge for the next time that I will use an old uh, cell phone, uh, use some lenses and build my own projector. Okay, so you can see I can remove the screws and I can move the lens. It's just not going down. Maybe it's this cable here. Yeah. This cable is holding back by a connector over here. Yeah. So connector. Okay. So here's a main board. Uh, it's keeping the connector on there. That place. Uh, why am why am why am I doing this? Tear down in English. Why not dots? Oh my! Motors, springs. Spring, spring, spring. What am I holding back? Ah, so, wow. So this is the camera unit. You see, in here is the shutter, and this is the lens unit. My God, so massive. I did not expect it. So we are moving the unit like this. I don't know. What's your purpose? Okay, so this is viewfinder. So I think if you zoom in, the viewfinder will also zoom in. Check that out. Yeah, a so springs. This is a massive piece of copper here. Yes, yeah, so if you have copper wheels. So I think this is in some system that the system can measure on what focal length the camera is. So it moves and then with binary signals. Let's see if you can see it. With some binary signals the machine can measure uh, what is the focal length. Okay. Everything is held together by tape. But yeah, after 20 years, the tape is a little bit, what to say, worn out. Yeah, look, sticky hell. <laughs> oh, sticky hell. So, can I remove this? Of course, I can. So springs, bye bye springs. So you are a cable. You are a cable once not let go because why not? Is it a screw? No, not a screw. This is focus. So, motor. Uh, this is irritating. Not anymore. So I think already a victory, the lens unit. So let's see. It's a small lens, and 
do you have any aperture in here? Oh, you closed. So, this small engine, what are you? Are you aperture or are you focus or are you zoom? I have no idea. Let's see if I can. Remove this tape. Little screw, second little screw, third little screw, okay. Yes, I'm all for quiet. And another screw. It never stops. Niet vanzelf. Het stopt niet vanzelf. Oké. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 dum. Life goes on. Shop. Then I can use use a headlight. So headlight power. I don't want to remove those screws or these screws yet because maybe there is for some adjustment. Or maybe I have to remove them. Hmm. Then I can say something stupid like, What should you do? Post it in the comments. But no, this is not a live video. This is just a video I record. And I have no idea if my camera is capable in filming for a half hour or longer. How do you feel? Oh, it's, it's not warm. Because it is. Okay, I have no idea what we now are missing from this video because the camera did not beep of anything. Maybe I should turn something on that will beep when it stops recording. I think it stops recording because of some flaw, of design flaw, 
of something people did not realize. Long time ago, we used a fail system called FIT32. Beautiful system. Because it's easy. But the flaw of that fail system is that it can only have fails that are maximum 4.4 gigabytes big. And fails are 4 gigabytes. Most people don't use fails that are 4 gigabytes big. Why not? They don't use it. It's only when do you use 4 gigabyte fails? When you record videos. It's the only reason, because even DVDs, if the DVD is 4.3 gigabyte big, the videos on the DVDs are divided in files at 1 gigabyte. Uh, pictures, I never saw a picture of 4 gigabyte. Games, I know, yeah, maybe some new, new games that have a big file. But normally, people don't use big files. Most cameras, no, not most cameras. All cameras work with FAT32 and some cameras can use an other file system like XFAT that doesn't have that limitation of 4GB. But movie, most cameras use 4GB files. No problem. If you just record a small video like the dog playing on the, on the beach, that's not a problem. You shoot your clip, it's maybe 4 minutes long. It will be like 800 megabytes, nobody cares. But if you record a video like this, you have a problem that after some moment the video will reach the 4 gigabyte limit. And then the camera cannot write further and it will stop recording. And the stupid thing doesn't beep or say anything. I have to look if still I see the red recording. Uh, icon is blinking or not. So I was talking and I was busy and I saw it was not blinking anymore and I was like holy moly what's the problem? Turns out to stop recording. So if you see a gap in the video you know now why. What will be a solution? Maybe you have to check if this camera supports XFAT AXFAT. It's a new file system that can hold files that are bigger than 4 gigabytes. But that's for another video. If I make a video about that, because I don't even know if I put this video online. But if you see this, yeah, then I decided to put this video online. Screws, screws, screws. Everywhere screws. I was hoping that the lenses were a little bit bigger, but they are really small. And another, oh, I like this motor. Look how small. I think it's strong. So let's keep that motor. You go away. I don't care about you anymore. Okay, click, clack, clack. So, small engine. Maybe it's strong, maybe not. I don't know. Now we get to the magic. So you have this lens here. And how do I remove that? It moves so smooth. Oh, I see. I see. So this is a small ring around. So if I remove the ring, come here, you little bugger. Ring says no. Look at this. This is like an eye of some James Bond villain. Like, I'm gonna kill you, Mr. Bond. Uh, let's see if you, yeah, example. I'm gonna kill you, Mr. Her. Let's do it again. I'm gonna kill you, Mr. Bond. So, like this. Okay. Mm. I think this camera just has a, f a fixed aperture. I don't think the aperture can move at all. Well, let's see. So, what I see here is, th is the shutter curtain. 
you see this is a piece of black plastic and it can move oh no I have my fingerprint on there so now some smart watch kit can make a screenshot of this video extract my fingerprint and use that information to unlock my phone and then that person is on my phone and still cannot do anything because I uh, use a lot of apps without fingerprints why? you know why but you always know if the police stops you just double click the power button on your phone five times before the police can stop you and your phone will go in the lockdown mode but why should the police stop me? because I don't have a driver license in this country maybe maybe the police is corrupt in this country maybe but they are not corrupt they are just finding ways to support their families everybody would do the same Okay, but I won't talk about the police because keep the police a friend otherwise they will maybe revoke my visa and then I have to find another country I can live. <sighs> maybe I have to live in Ca Cambodia. Do I want to live in Cambodia? Do you want to live in Cambodia? Okay, I have two pieces stacked together. And I won't have to remove this ring, otherwise I cannot get to the class. Okay, you little bugger, just go away. Ah, I just can tear it down. So, do 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 of glass. Just a piece of plastic with glass. But this is the shutter unit. Hello shutter unit. How do you work? No, I don't know. Okay. So, where's my screwdriver? So this is shutter unit and here is... Oh, oh maybe it has a dear from Maybe it's just some trick like this. Maybe it's a dear. And the diaphragma, this dots. Maybe it's an aperture and shutter in one. Because over here we have a rotary encoder. Look over here. What's a rotary encoder? No, I'll tell you. It's a disc with holes. with holes and it moves and over here you have uh, a light sensor and light sensitive sensor so a light and a light sensitive sensor so if you move this the piece of plastic with holes will move to the sensor and then the system knows like oh 1, 2, 3, 4 and he knows the aperture it's like Pfft. so maybe it will start the engine and like 1, 2, 3, 4 I'm here and I have to go back Phew. so maybe if you want to like make a picture with a really sensitive really open or with it with yeah aperture really open and 
and you know you have to go further but if you want to have like a small aperture because it's really sunny outside you can have like chuk, 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 chuk. and he knows over here yeah he knows how far the aperture is open and needs to go back beautiful tech I did not know they already could build this like in what's this 1996 1995 1998 Before we got digital cameras. Is there any glass in here? No. So what do we have? I, I told you about this. Now you can see. So the camera. I think this tells the camera how far it zoomed. So if copper trace. Go over here and then it knows like one zero zero one zero. I'm I'm there. Alf. I think it's just binary. So here it's like one zero one zero one or one zero one 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 or one 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 one. So I think this is maybe neutral. And he knows. Ah, I go that way. Beautiful system. And you don't have zero 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 zero, so the system always know where it is. One 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 zero zero. Binary. And then this one is small. Maybe this one tells one zero zero. Don't go further. Stop the engine. Okay, let's take a look to this unit. So up here, we have the viewfinder. Oh, hold on. This is the viewfinder that shows you what you are seeing. This is the main lens. I think there are two lenses. No, it's not. So this moves. So I think this is the focus. And over here we have two sensors. And what are they doing? Two things, I think. Or it's a fo focus. So maybe it's finding some contrast and then the noise like oh I'm focused or it's measuring light. And maybe this is the light sensor over here. Maybe this one is measuring the light. Or this is an LED. Let's see. I only see two pins, so I think this maybe is an LID. An LID. An L I there goes my English. A light emitting the order. Maybe this one tells like, oh I'm on shelf timer or I'm gonna make a picture or maybe this one helps to focus the object and assistant light. Okay and let's see. It works with a warm wheel engine, so if I rotate this I rotate this engine over here. Hello. I rotate this one. You have a warm wheel here, and that is moving this lens. Hmm. Beautiful piece of engineering. Metal, plastic, real glass. And it's moving so smooth. Oh, and now I see another lens sensor. So, I don't know enough about those two sensors. So maybe it's out of focus, maybe it's measuring of the light. I don't know. But it's not a, some, like now, everything is AI. Like, if you have this phone, You make a picture, it's a lot of AI, a lot of algorithms that is trying to make a beautiful picture. You don't need any mes light measuring system, just point and shoot. And wow, I love this piece of glass here. In the viewfinder, it's, it's a beautiful reflection. So I try to save all those lenses. And because the camera is still running, 
I will let you guys enjoy in that process. Was wrong, but can the screwdriver get a grip? No screwdriver or screwdriver, can you get a grip? Destroy my screwdriver on this. No, <laughs> not destroy the screwdriver. The screwdriver is set is too good to be destroyed. Oh, did I destroy it? No, I destroyed the normal screws. Let's enjoy the level. This 
So this moves. And let this disc move and over here if you can see it is the sensor that reads out the movement. So I think the motor will turn uh, you see the motor will turn this disc and then it just can count one, two, three, four and knows the focus. It's so beautiful. It's a shame that I'm destroying it. But yeah, this house is not a machine. It will all be donated to this dress. Oh, I got just got a message. Food is ready. Okay. Um, I will eat and I will let this camera cool down. So I see you in a half hour. Lunch was delicious. I had rice with vegetables. And let's put on my headlight again because I think it's a great help with some low light situations in highlighting parts in the camera. So, I told you, what I want to do is getting the motors and the lenses from this camera. So, I have one lens, I have the second lens. A third lens. Where's the most beautiful one? No, it's not beautiful. The fourth lens. So let me see. Um, so I think this was uh, this camera was a uh, three, four lens system. One, two, three, four. So and which one is the most beautiful one? I think the front one. Um, let's see, let's see, let's continue. I want to have the motor and what I also was I want is the flash unit. Yes, here. Because it can turn low voltage in and high voltage for the flash. I want to have this engine. So how do I get this engine out of his enclosure? Because moving the rotary encoder. And let's zoom in. I think it gave us an extra view. So here's the engine and here's a screw. Bye bye screw. And maybe I can now push out the engine. No, oh, a second screw. My god, Canon, you built a really quality product. Screws everywhere. Oh, yeah, here you have one of the sensors. On a piece of flexible PCB. Hello, focus. So the other way better. So this is one of the autofocus sensors. But I want the engine. Engine. Oh here you have the warm wheel. I told you. The one will rotate and will pull the lens up and down. So you have the lens like this and it will rotate and it will push the lens up or down. Beautiful system. Okay, engine. How do I get you out? So I have the engine here. So it doesn't move. It doesn't move. Why not? Yeah, another hidden screw you're not telling me about. Or should I just use some power? Oh, that goes. Nice. Right. Use some power. And there it goes. Motor number two. Beautiful. Am I happy with all that flexible PCB? No, 
انداخت Focus, otherwise it will become a 4 hour video and believe me I'm not that interesting okay. let's cut the engine off so, the engine because I want to, if I want to have that I can just solder it Any interesting things in here? Maybe not. Let's see what's under this screw. And oops, okay. What's there? I have no clue. Another sensor. Sensor, sensor, sensors everywhere. Focus engine and a solar engine. Now let's take a look to this main engine, this main board. What do we have here? I think this also has an engine. Why? It is transporting the film. So first make some space. Is ah, say the camera body. So here is the here will be the, the film, and this is the viewfinder. So we see through of this, and the viewfinder has a small mirror. I can see. So here, so you can like a, you can change the point how do you want to look to your object. So you have this one. Or this one, beautiful. Um, let me see. How can I? Let's start with the viewfinder because the viewfinder is protected by a piece of metal. Oh, let's. Yes. A little response on a WhatsApp message. Okay, I think I have to pause the video a second because we have some Wi Fi problems, and if you run a business with an online shop, you need Wi Fi. So, bye. Okay, I'm back. So we had a problem with the Wi-Fi because I changed the password this morning because um, uh, the password was too easy. And there were a lot of people this morning on our Wi-Fi network and I was a little bit like, hey, listen, who are those people? Why are they on our Wi-Fi network? And why so many? Maybe it's the neighbors, our password is too easy, so I'll change the password. But the router is some cheap piece of crap. I really. Wow, this is so beautiful. Hey, look at this. So, I told you, we have an infrared sensor. So, if you want to use the infrared sensor, you pull it on. So, you push this, and you see here, the whole mechanism, and here's the button. So, if father wants to make with his uh, infrared uh, remote picture, he just pull it, push here and the whole mechanism come up and you see how everything moves and here the switch is connected so the camera knows, hey, yeah, I'm now in infrared mode. Ah, beautiful. All those small details in this. And upstairs I told you the mirror can move. Chop, 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 chop. Wow. 
this was a really advanced camera back in those days. Now it's just trash. Because, hey, why should you use this? You have an iPhone. iPhones make beautiful pictures nowadays. Yeah, you always have those people, blah, 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 but this is film. Yeah, of course it's film. But the problem is, you make the pictures, the best pictures with the camera you have on you. I don't have this on me, but I have an iPhone on me, so yes. And I won't go home to pick up this piece of holy moly, because then I have to find film. Why do you find film in Asia nowadays? I mean... They also have cameras here, or mobile phones here. They also have a whole mechanism with moving things. I'll just remove the screws, because what I want, I want this engine. The film transport engine. I have no idea where it is. So I just remove all the screws. Because maybe I get an another lens. This lens, for example. I can make a mini 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 projector. 10 lumen. 80 by 80 pixels. Beautiful. Okay, no, just cool. I have to be finished in an hour. And I still have to clean my desk. Because my desk. Yeah, I will zoom out later. The desk is a disaster. A disaster movie. I don't think you saw it. I just, just fell out. So another lens. Hooray hooray. Lens paradise. So where do they keep the engine? Oh just remove screws. So what I do. Remove screws everywhere. And a screw here. And a screw here. I will keep all the screws. I have a small box and I will put in small screws. Because sm getting small screws is kind of hard. You don't go to the shop and you say, hey, I need a sm small screw. Because they don't have it for you. But if you go to the shop and you ask for like an M4 screw, they have that. Because that's something everybody uses. But all these small things, you cannot f find this in a shop. So. I always keep those small screws. Oh my god, this is... Oops. Oh my god, this... Look what I did in the factory, this is so ugly. Yeah, I see a mistake. Over here. This is wrong. I did it wrong. Because oh my god. So I see a product fault in a Canon product. Oh my god, okay. The flat cable is totally wrong. Yeah, screw. Another screw. So, where is the... Where did they put the engine? Engine, where are you? So I have here. I think it's connected to here. There they have the flat cable stuff. My god. Flat cables everywhere. Not a real PCB, but everything is in all those flexible PCBs. This stuff. And that's a nice way to work because then you can put electronics around something. You can just bend it, put electronics here, you can put it here and bend it like over here and here. It's a beautiful way to work, but I think this is horrible to repair. I think you have a problem with this? You have a problem. Oh my god, a lot of noises, so it means a lot of emails. So, how do I get all those things out? Where did they put the camera? Oh, uh, camera, I mean, where did they put the engine? The 
Let's see, maybe I can get this panel out. Oh yeah, I can. And how is this panel? Maybe this screw? Zoom a little bit out so people can see more. I was hoping I can just move a little bit of plastic here so I can get this display unit out. Uh, I don't care. Connected over here, maybe under this PCB. Maybe, maybe not. So I removed a lot of screws, but I don't see any way to remove the display unit. Screws. I have the feeling that if you remove a PCB that's also holding together a plastic piece, maybe that's the way how they design it. Because I have the idea the person who designed this camera, I think he spent a lot of time about this construction because it's so many pieces in place. If you know, have a, a teardown of an. Uh, an, an, an modern camera it's so simple it's a PCB where the light sensors are on and you have a unit with the lens it looks all so simple so simple and easy to repair and this one is so many parts it looks so fragile oh what's this what are you, what are you? oh these are this is for the film the film was rolling over this it's so smooth I will keep this. What's it for the film? Oh, another encoder. Look at here. Another. Where is it? Another rotary encoder. Let me zoom in so you can see. No, the wrong way. Focus, yeah. Let's see. So this rotates, and here you have the sensor, and it's reading. It's really fine. So, what's this? This is connected to the film. So, maybe this is, is counting how far is the film. Because the motor has to rotate and has to. If you make a picture, click lock. If you make a picture with this camera, here is a piece of film. Film is exposed with the image you want to uh, photograph, and then you have to get a new piece of film. So the motor will uh, pull a new piece of film. And I think this rotary encoder here is to measure how far the new film is there. Put some. Oh yeah, now I get some more. Oops, okay. <gasps> screws. I live for screws. After I'm finished, I just grab a big magnet and get all those m screws in one movement of this desk. All plastic parts I don't need. To take it. They go straight in the trash. Oh yes, uh, over here we have 
this uh, the DX sensors. So if you put the film in the camera like over here, let's see here, the camera can read out what's the ISO of the film, uh, what kind of film is it 36 or 12 or 24 images. So yeah, neat. Yeah, now back in the days. If you want to make a picture, you have to decide, like, hey, I want to use a 36. No, 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 I say wrong. Back in the days, you have to decide, like, oh, I need an ISO 800 film, or I need an ISO 100 film. Now it's just a setting on your camera. But back in the days, you have to choose which film you want to use. So if you go out for some night photography, then you have to get yourself ISO 800, or daytime you use ISO 100 so you have to switch film if you want to have another ISO and this is PCB you see it's really simple and I think here is one under this shield part is I think the microcontroller I don't need to do a lot it's quite simple okay, I can hear a lot of gears again uh, gears, 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 gears. And gears here, gears there. Uh, gears everywhere. What, where's the engine? I want the engine. I don't care about the gears. Oh, I see an engine. The engine is behind the screen. Display unit at his place on his. Oh my. So big, so clean. Like a clean room. Yeah. Camera was uh, some kind of clean room. But it was a nice clean room because if you make a. if you put a new film in a film camera, you just have a clean sensor. Nowadays, you use the same sensor. In a digital camera, you have the same sensor over and over. So, if it gets dirty, it's dirty. But in a film camera, you just buy a new film and poof, your sensor is clean again. Those were the days when you can use your camera as an ashtray. Yep, new film, clean sensor. But now, you're in the Sahara, Making beautiful pictures and use you, you let's say what do you do? You replace your lens for another lens and bam a lot of dust in your camera on your sensor. And you can move all those things those things because it's make it help. know how the service manual of this camera look like looks like because if you need to repair this camera you need to replace somewhere a sensor inside the body you need a service manual that's so detailed otherwise you can never ever 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 put this camera back together never this is like a puzzle, a big Japanese mega puzzle. Hey, Ooh. hey, there is the last screw of the sensor of the display module. This display module, and there it goes. And look, there's a crystal. So there's also a clock in here. I won't be surprised if it's under this display is also some microcontroller. But the story for is here. Here it comes. 
the motor. So another beautiful motor. And the motor. No, it's not a temperature sensor. I see some small capacitor on that. I was thinking a te temperature sensor, but it's not. But look at that. Some gears. Beautiful. Now, what's in here that I think is still. What can I get from this? I think it's still. No, I don't see anything. I'm like, okay, I can save this. I can keep this. Because it's just plastic and plastic. And metal and copper. And this is also interesting. So the back gym, the back of the chamber can move. So I think that it also has a sensor. So the camera now when it's uh, rewinding the wind uh, when the camera is rewinding the film then it knows when uh, the last piece of film is back in the in the tube. Home tube, I should say. So yeah. Okay, there's something in here I want to keep. No, I don't think so. The end of a beautiful camera. But someone need to take the decision to destroy this camera, put it on film. Maybe put it on YouTube. I think I will put it on YouTube. So yes. I have what I need. What I wanted were the motors. The motors. And I want the lenses. And I want the capacitor of the flash unit. And the rest of it. I'll show you in a second. Will be all dress, but I will slowly take a look to all the parts I want to keep. So maybe I will keep some metal gears, and maybe I will keep some. I don't know. Maybe a switch or two switches. But the rest is all dress, ready to throw away. Be burned, not to be thrown in one big landfill. Let's hope they will burn it. I think burning garbage is better for the environment. Or yeah, they will recycle it. That's the best. Uh, I don't know what kind of plastic this is because you cannot recycle old plastic. So plastics are really awful to recycle. But yeah. Okay. I, I promise you should guys something. So. This is how my desk now looks like. So the camera unit, display unit, cup of coffee, and you can see all the parts that came out of this camera. So this is the front of the camera with the focus units. You can see the focus. I think there's an outer focus unit. This is a light unit. I think behind here is an outer focus unit. The part of the lens. The back of the camera. You can choose portrait mode. You can choose the flash. Here you have to zoom in and out. Inside of the lens. Uh, where is the lens chamber? Here the lens chamber. Two pieces of metal. Beautiful quality. Maybe I'll keep this. Put some flour in there. Okay, I um, I think this is uh, the end of the video. I have what I need: lenses, motors, capacitors, and I will save a lot of those small screws because small screws you can uh, uh, yeah you need them. Okay, bye bye.